How are you doing? How are ya? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Annabelle and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I got this super fun like textured beachy effortless hair look using a curling iron. It's literally one of the fastest ways to style your hair. Let me take off the hat so you can see it a little bit better. Here you go. Here she is. A super messy textured undone look that I think is going to be so popular this spring and summer. I'm obsessed with it and you guys wanted the tutorial so we're going to jump right into this tutorial if you're interested in learning how I did this hairstyle. Today we're back with a super incredible hair tutorial if I do say so myself. <laughs> Yesterday on my Instagram I posted these pictures and y'all were going crazy needing to know how I accomplished this look. It honestly is one of the easiest quickest curling methods I've ever done in my life. I used to do this years ago and I rediscovered it because I was like you know what this summer and spring it's all about the coastal country effortless beachy textured hair. I have fine straight hair with absolutely no volume and no texture. So I'm all about how do I create that in an easy, quick way. So if you're straight, have straight hair, or maybe you have some texture and want to enhance it, keep watching this video because we're going to be showing you how to do this entire look super simply. Let's go. So I did this hair look yesterday, so my hair has some leftover texture in it, but it turned out so well, so I'm like, have to show you. So what I'm actually going to do, since I'm applying some more heat today, I'm just going to put heat protection all over my hair. I love the Unite heat protection, and this is the Bumble and Bumble heat protectant. Any heat protectant you have will do, just make sure it's one that you can apply onto dry hair. All right, we're going to let that sit in my hair. And for this look, I actually want a little bit more hair. So I'm going to apply some of my hair extensions. Hair extensions are optional, but I always get questions about the hair extensions that I'm using. So today I'm actually taking two different hair extension brands and mixing them. My hair color currently is just fading out. I'm attempting to go to a lighter copper, which don't worry, I'll make a whole video about letting my color fade, how I transition slowly to a lighter copper. But because of that, my hair color is just kind of in between shades. I have some roots grown in. So I'm mixing the BFB hair in autumn with the hair shop in Auburn. You can see this one's a little bit darker. This one's a little bit lighter. They're both amazing shades. I used to be just this color, which you can tell I'm not. So I'm just going to mix the two, apply some hair in just to add some volume, some thickness, and um, we're just gonna go for it, but this isn't a hair extension tutorial video, so I'll check back in with you when my hair is in. All right, so we've got some hair extensions in, and you'll see some of that leftover texture that we need to touch up and just teach you all how to do, because it's so easy. The star of the show is gonna be this Ion Curling Iron. You can get it on Amazon for $47. I have it on my storefront under Favorite Hair Tools. It's on Prime right now, so if you're thinking of getting it, I would definitely get it, because they kind of sell out and go back and forth between being on Prime. I've used this brand of curling irons for like five, six years. It's the only curling iron I've ever used as a professional hairstylist. They were affordable and have lasted me so long. The ones I have from five years ago, I still have and are incredible. So definitely recommend. $47 is a really good price for a curling iron, um, at least from what I've seen being in the hair industry. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take smaller sections of your hair. I'm starting off by doing a face framing piece right now. And like I said, this is a 3 fourth of an inch, so it's already smaller. A one inch would work well too, but I love the 3 fourth an inch and you're going to take it and curl it like you would being really staying really close to your root and before you continue you're going to immediately loop that hair off the top. This is really really fast so essentially what it does it creates a more narrow curl um, and keeps it and then you pull that end and it keeps it almost flatter if you can see that it doesn't have a ton of volume and that's how we create this like super beachy look. So I'm going to show you again. I'm going to take another piece of hair. You start at the root like you're going to curl normally. Do one like one or two rotations and then you immediately loop that hair off the top. Twist. Loop the hair off the top. Twist. Loop the hair off the top. Twist and then you're going to pull those ends straight. So the hair that's in there you just pull. So that you get that super straight edge and you get almost these like, like I said thin kind of flat looking curls, but that's what creates the texture that we're after. And as you'll see, like the style does hold very well for days um, and you can just touch up whatever you need to touch up, but it does hold and these curling irons are just great. Okay, so what we're gonna do, loop, 
twist, loop off the top, twist, loop off the top, twist. But you see how fast it is as well? Like, this isn't going to take you 10 years. And it creates like a super undone feature look. So I'm just going to continue freshening up some pieces and then I'll show you uh, what it looks like when we're brushing it out. Okay, y'all, so you end up with something that looks like this. It looks absolutely hilarious. And aren't you glad this is not the finished product? But what I do is I just take a wide um, brush, which is great for combing out curls like this, and we just begin brushing it out. I can't wait for what it's gonna look like. Okay, you can literally see one side just brushed out. It looks so good and just so much better than the other side. So let's brush out this side. This is where if you see any curls that look weird, you can always fix them or any pieces that are too straight. I think we're looking pretty good. Like happy with how it looks. Just make sure you really brush through any of those little coily curl things because they will stay pretty curled until you unravel them. So, and you don't want ringlets. I'm just fixing these little ends. Some of them look a little bit too curly. And this literally looks so good, but I'm a product girl who loves volume. So we're gonna add a little bit of product just to continue on with that texture that I'm loving. I just feel like though this is such a great look for like literally going out to dinner, going to the beach. I mean, yes, it might be a little bit extra for the beach, but like if you're taking pictures, I'm like, I can picture myself doing this when I go line dancing, just everything. like. From prom to date night, whatever your age is, it's a super, super simple hair tutorial and it's quick and it just looks so chic and fun and effortless. All right, you know I love my Unite products and today I'm taking the Unite Expand Dust, which if, you ever, if you've never used this, you can put it on your roots, you can put it throughout the ends of your hair, you could add it to a braid. Basically, it gives your hair some grit, volume, texture, um, and it's just really, really great. Um, so I'm gonna open it up and it almost is like a salt shaker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put some of it throughout my hair, hold my hair, and take some of the powder and put it throughout. It might have been hard to see on the camera, but it's just like a really, really fine powder. You might see it flying through the air right now. Unite products are the best when it comes to like grit and long lasting texture. Um, so that will be on my storefront as well under the Unite products tab. Um, Unite is just the best and I love their products. So I kind of just put that throughout mostly my ends because that's really, really where I want the volume and texture. So let's do a side by side comparison after just, <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm like, yeah, it will add a lot of volume and texture. And then it's like, uh, yeah, literally this side is nice, but it's just laying, as you can see, it lays a little bit flatter and just adding that expanded dust, it expands the hair. So let's do this side as well. I'm just taking my hand and almost just ruffling it up. And that just gave us more of that texture and volume. As I've said like 20,000 times, texture, volume, texture, volume, texture. But you can end with a hairspray if you wanted to or some hair oils. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And that is the super easy and simple summer like hair trend I foresee becoming even bigger. Just like effortlessly curled, beachy. Finish off this look because we are in our coastal cowgirl season of life. And if you're like, what the heck does that mean? It is a trend right now, but really it's just the effortless, even though this hair was some effort, but the effortless country plus beach mix of styles. So I love to wear this hair look like I was doing in the photos with my cowboy hat so many hats can be found on amazon for super cheaply or you can even thrift one but i love big hair with a cowboy hat so this is the finished result hope you enjoyed i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye